welcome sets to the YouTube channel. I have earth colors here, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber, raw umber, ivory black. And these two I would just call peachy color and gray. Um, I would use the peachy color to draw with, so you can just take any circle like this. And the nice thing about the peachy color is that if you make a mistake, it can literally get wiped out. And then you can just bring this down. And this could become a cupcake just by doing that. And then you can pull this out a little bit more and you've got a cupcake. It looks like it has a smiley face too. So let's do that again. You can use any shape you want. You do not have to use this big one like I do. Um, but I'm obviously using a circle. And then I'm bringing my lines down from this and then I'm wrapping it around. And then up here, I'm going to pull this out. So, in the Virginia SOLs, they talk about neutralizing a color. Um, and what a neutralizing would be is it would not be, it would be like a tint or hue of it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is take brown, and that would be considered alone a neutral color, and then making it into a tint, which is adding white, and then. I would have a light brown or a neutral color and that was just using brown. So you can also do the same thing with black, ivory black and you take a little bit of it and you can put this on here and then you can add white to it and that will make a tint of a color. So gray and these are considered neutral colors and I think the lighter they are too the more they are considered neutral especially when it comes to decorating things so let's go back with the brown and draw my line there and bring this line down we outline it and then you can bring some more lines down here and you can either blend with a blending stump or literally just take the white again and blend. So I'm going to continue to blend and smooth things out with the white and now I can add black and outline it as well just to get some more details. You do not have to do this. It's your choice. I just thought it might look kind of cool. So I'm going to take yellow ochre, as you notice I've been breaking it and using a tiny piece, and add it down here and then I'm going to add white onto it. So I sped things up because this is basically repeating what I first just did. Then after that I'm going to take what's called burnt sienna, I'm going to use a little tiny piece, lightly put it down and then add white and just again repeat the steps where I'm blending it, I'm making a tint and that would be considered a neutral color and yeah so thank you so much for tuning in like and subscribing to my youtube channel talking about tints and neutral colors and this time i'm using earth colors take care